Okay, so now we've verified that our controller, our transmitter, is communicating with our drone. We can see that on the screen here as I move the left stick up and down. That's our throttle. I move it right and left. That's our yaw. Move our uh, right stick up and down is our pitch. And right and left is our roll. So we're sure that everything's working properly. You'll see in the preview there, you can kind of uh, move your drone around and verify that everything is working in the correct direction. I highly recommend you do that before moving on. Once you've verified that, now we need to set up a few of our uh, modes, which is the next tab. You go ahead and click on that, and you'll see that we have uh, different modes that you can put your drone in, and these are used to uh, to change the flight characteristics of your aircraft. Uh, also uh, used to arm the aircraft so you're able to start up for flight or shut it down if the flight uh, you have some kind of issue or you get lost uh, or maybe you, you think maybe you hit something you need to turn everything off it's kind of a safety feature uh, there's beeper there's uh, the ability to flip over after crash there's a thing called pit mode there's all kind of different things you can do uh, that you can set up in beta flight to control your aircraft and your drone. So let's talk a little bit about those. So most of these are controlled from uh, the, what's called your auxiliary switches, which are the switches on the top of your controller. Now, uh, if you noticed from earlier in our lessons, we know that this one is aux one, this is aux two, this is aux three, the top one, and then aux four. So it goes one, two, three, four, right around uh, your little transmitter. Okay, so we have our drone plugged in, and as I flip the switches here, you can see a little indicator. Let me show that here on the screen. This little indicator right here. Move around, okay, as I flip those switches. And what that's doing is it's sending a signal to our drone uh, from our transmitter that's being uh, received by the receiver on the drone, and that's being sent to our flight controller, which then is outputting that information here on the screen because we're plugged into beta flight. So all that being said, you can set these up however you want. Now, each of these switches have different positions. So this switch down here, uh, auxiliary one, is a what's called a two position switch. You can be down or you can be up or back or forward, okay? This switch here, aux two, has three positions. We have the down position, we have the middle position, and we have the forward or up position. Okay, over here, aux 3 also has three positions, and aux 4 has two positions. So why we go through that is it's kind of nice to know what your options are when you set up your drone and your transmitter. So the first one we need to set up is called the arm uh, mode. So what that does is it lets you arm your drone ready for flight. So we always have a switch that has to be configured um, on your transmitter that will allow you to arm and disarm your drone. So that it's a safety feature again, so if something happens, you're out on the race course and something goes wrong, you can flip that switch and it shuts off all the motors on your drone. And that way, you know, if anything's, it's caught in something, you're not sure where you went, you lost uh, the ability to see your drone through your video transmitter, you flip that switch, it shuts it down uh, so nobody gets hurt. So that's the first thing we wanna configure. Now, by default, this one is configured to auxiliary 2, which is this top switch right here. Now, you can just leave it there. A lot of people like that switch to be configured as your your arm switch because they want to be able to quickly just flip it. It's, it's real close to you, makes it easy to flip that switch. One thing I don't like about that being um, my arm switch is that it has three different kind of positions or three different states that it can be in. So it's kind of a waste to just use that for arm because you're either you're armed or you're not armed. And it's nice to have that switch really just be control one thing for the, for the arm. So what I'm gonna do on my drone is I'm gonna switch that to auxiliary two, or I'm sorry, switch it to auxiliary one, okay, which is this back switch. Cause it only has two positions. And you'll see here, you'll flip it back and forth and it goes up and down. Now, the other thing you'll notice on the screen is that we have this, these, this orange section of our scale. So this scale here goes from 900 to 2100, and that shows the range of the signal that's gonna be sent as I flip this switch. So when I 
move the switch, it moves from one end to the other. Now I can adjust where I want that to be active. So I can put that so this way it would be the bottom half would be off, the top half would be on. So I flip the switch now, you'll see the indicator move to the top and then move to the bottom. That would arm and disarm my drone. Now the next thing you'll see is the uh, what's called angle mode. And angle mode is used uh, when you fly your drone. We'll be talking a little bit more about the different kind of flight modes. But typically that's used in a, more of a racing style. Um, when you're first learning to fly, angle mode might not be the easiest one to learn in. Although some people think it's a good idea. Uh, but we'll talk about how you can change that. Now as I mentioned, we switched our AUX1 to now control our arming. So we need to change our angle to be a different switch. And I'm going to make that aux 2. So now my aux 2 will control my angle mode and aux 1 will control my arming. Okay, I'm not going to save it right now because if I save it, I have to reboot my whole drone. So I'm just going to leave it like it is and uh, just finish out this video and I'll save it and make sure everything works properly. The next one here is a beeper, which is an AUX3. That's nice. If you lose your drone, you're not sure where it is, you can flip that AUX3 switch to the middle, and it will beep, Okay, which is kind of nice. Another one that's nice is to flip over after a crash. So if you're out flying, you've got your goggles on, you fly down the hallway, and you, you run into something, your drone's upside down, and you need to flip over. Well, typically you can't do that. So what that does, uh, this allows you to flip over your drone by flipping this switch. And I'm going to make that aux 3 as well. So now what you will see here is I will then have aux 3 will now control two things. So if I flip it to the middle, I'll have my beeper. And if I flip it to the top, it would be activating my flip over after crash, or what's called turtle mode. So I'm going to flip over. The last one I want to set up here is something called pit mode. So what pit mode does is it allows you to set up a mode where your video transmitter is off okay so what that's going to do is going to make it so your video transmitter is is not going to be sending any signal to your goggles that's really nice if you are um in a in the pit okay or if you're trying to troubleshoot what's going on with your drone maybe you've got maybe you broke a prop propeller and you want to test a motor uh, but at the same time, other people are racing out on the race course. If you turn your drone on and you happen to be on the same frequency as their goggles, then they're going to see your camera instead of their own camera. And it's going to make it really hard for them to fly. So we ask everybody to set up pit mode on their drone. That way they can just flip it into pit mode and then no signal is going out. So I'm going to go ahead and add a range. And I'm going to put that range all the way at the bottom. And I'm going to make that pit mode, I'm going to make that aux 2. Now, if you recall, aux 2 is this first switch right here. This one is closest to the, to the front of the uh, transmitter. Okay. And when I look up here, you'll see I also have aux 2 controlling my angle mode. Uh, and that's okay, right? I can have that switch do two things. I'm going to add one more range on aux 2 and that's going to be called horizon mode now what horizon does is it it self levels the drone and so this is the way most uh, people learn to fly um, you, again you don't have to do it this way you can certainly learn in angle mode but a lot of people that are getting started start off in horizon mode because horizon mode provides some auto correction from the flight controller your flight controller has an accelerometer on it that accelerometer uh, will kind of level out the drone, and that way if you um, move the sticks one way or the other, it'll kind of self-level and make it a little bit easier to fly when you're first starting out. Now, again, I mentioned a lot of people that uh, are racers, they really don't like horizon mode. Once you start getting better at this, you'll probably want to learn how to fly in angle mode. But for now, let's have horizon active on aux 2. So now what I have, that aux 2 switch is going to control several things. Okay, it's going to control my horizon mode, it's going to control my angle mode, and it's going to control my pit mode. So when the switch is down, I'll be in horizon with pit mode on. When my switch is in the middle position, I will be in horizon with pit mode off. And when I'm in the top position, I will be in angle with horizon 
uh, in angle mode with the pit mode off. So that's a great way to have it set up. You can go ahead and save that and you'll be all set to start flying.